Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Individual Sim 2. Conflicts Mod Part 52, I think. Not 100% certain, but I think. Right, so at the end of last episode, I do believe... Is that what we picked up? Grasp the gem firmly. The gem feels both extremely hot and extremely cold, and yet sits comfortably in your hand. Within the crimson crystal, a galaxy of stars seems to twinkle, and beyond the stars lies a strange and wondrous realm. The stars swirl and move, and form a face, the face of an imp. Um, what the colour could represent the elements? Red for life, black for death, blue for the air. Why are we talking to Walsa? Tell him you're very patient, we have your limits. The face dissolves and the stars begin to swirl. And so too does your head as you are taken to... I've always wanted to see an impish pocket realm. Me too. This is fascinating. Right. Running like clockwork. The gem transported us into a pocket realm. So let me check on this a sec. Yeah, that's okay. Wanted to make sure it was running okay. There we go. Right. What have we got here then? Crafting Virgin Wand, another one. Spoon.
Als u stand al eet. Killen. Zat me nog, nog eens naar ons. Thievery. Hmm. Who's too finesse? I think we can afford it. I think we can. We'll do that. Read these. Fish handbook. Emergency protocol. In case of an engine item damage or meltdown, please judge with the court to ensure the continuation of resistance. 
Was it virtual only made coming into contact with the court of caution? As many rely on it. existence to exist. For more intimate views of the end of the existence, we suggest you follow the pipes. Follow the pipes. Essential engineering by Barty Crumb. Curious about automatons, unsure how to get the most out of these mechanical wonders, then read on for Barty's tips, tricks, and tutelage. Make it, oh, we've had all this before, make it run. I recognise that. From the size and shape of the spirit, you deduce that this is, or was, an imp. From its expression, you deduce that it's not very happy about being dead. Um Searched in for what he knew about the machine. You are Morat again, the engineer. You keep the machine running and focused on its primary task. Just as your ancestors did, you await the answer to the great question. What is the universe? But the machine only knows what the universe is not. It searches for the right answer by eliminating the wrong ones. You expect the process to be complete soon. Any millennium now, in fact. Oh, God. But recently, you've been getting the impression that the machine, well, it just doesn't trust you. Search the imp's memories for the manner of his death. You are Marasaken, the engineer. After long years of quiet work, the gem falls into the jaws of two great black ring wargs, who treat it as a toy. The machine suspects you of sabotage and responds in self-defense. You flee to the one place where you know you will be safe from the death fog and the rock fire. But before you can plan your rush to the call, where you'll apply the failsafe, a falling object hits you on the head. In a flash, you are dead. But still, your objective burns in your mind. Get to the great ball of light at the core of the machine, and turn off its defences. Okay, then. Say before we turn that on, shall we? Who knows? Looks like it might pump something out. Order is not the answer. Answer search continues. Okay. Where are these pipes that we're supposed to follow? There's the core.
An acorn is not the answer, but it may be close. Closer than a chicken, at least. Answer search continues. Get out of there. Let's take, uh, let's take a fern in there. we got empty bottle look at big boons Answer search continues. Flush protocol. Oh, that's death fog, I think. We won't bother with that. Hyperdrive protocol. Um, Yes. Thank you. 
the save it first. Just in case. the answer. Answer search continues. This lock can't be picked. I think I remember this, that if you don't get to it in time, does it not kill you? I think. Hostile threat detected. Executing operator extirpation in three, two. Extirpation aborted. Returning to primary task. On touching the glowing ball of light, text appears before your eyes. Threat de-escalated. Returning to primary task. Answer search running. Uh, if he's looking for an answer, that's what the question is. What is the universe? I can't find the answers yet. Answer not yet found. Search incomplete. Estimated search time. 358,910,227 years. Oh, that's a lot of days. Estimated search time, 358,910,227 years. Abnormal seismic activity threatened primary task operations. Operator sabotage suspect. Operator submitted override string. Large quadrupeds are playing with a framing device. The likelihood of quadrupeds having the capacity of play was calculated at one in two. The likelihood of an operator lying about quadrupeds shaking the framing device was also calculated at one in two. Operator's manner and language indicated hostility to the machine. Operator was identified as most likely primary threat. Extirpation was deemed the safest and most logical action. Threat de-escalated, returning to primary task. Answer search running. Okay then. We'll take those. Epidemic of fire scroll, malachite. Uh, 
Oh, okay, an altar. A resistance, sheet of paper. You reach out to touch the altar. It's called surface, a curious foil to the thrumming and clanging metal that surrounds you. Uh, pray to the altar of the goddess of mirth. Your vision clouds, your head swims, and when the fog clears, you are still standing in the imp temple. You look around in confusion. This doesn't seem right. There's a cough behind you. Turning, you see Zanteza. Not some allegorical figure, not some awe-inspiring god, just her. She's leaning against one of the struts on the platform, taking you in. No. Uh, wait, I suppose there's a riddle. There's another version of her song that says, Some one of her always speaks the truth. The other one always lies. There is a sigh. She rubs the bridge of her nose. Scholars always thinking too much and knowing too little. But perhaps you're not a lost cause. <laughs> she leans in, her eyes sparkling. I have a proposition for you. I'll reveal if I'm telling the truth, but only if. You disown your god. Deep within, you can feel your god stirring, hissing like a snake. Oh, make no mistake. I'm not asking you to support me at the Wellspring, just not to be beholden to him. To think for yourself, to make choices that you think are right, not what some half-dead god demands. You seem suspicious. How do you know she's not an agent of the Void? How did I know? But that's the situation. You can walk away with my word, or reject your god and be sure. You won't reject the god that saved your life, turn and walk away. The imp god rolls her eyes, throwing you an exaggerated bow before she fades to nothing. Okay, moon. everything there, did we? No, we didn't. Yeah, we've got the three, got three now. What did he want us to do again? Let's check. Ah, oh, God woken, the corrupted night of Duna rages still. Please okay. Uh, does that mean we need to go in here?
granite protector. Infusing weapons. Okay. That appears we've already got those recipes. We've already read that. So that can go. Little book of big boons. Did we read that? stuff you're wearing oh you're not yeah you're wearing the vultures so that's not good to us uh, potions there we go you boots scrolls Granny protector. Granny protector.
statues coming to life? She got her health missing. With great armored fists, the Knight of Duna pounds his own helmet rhythmically. The helmet has buckled inwards in places. Rivulets of blood trickle from beneath the visor. So you got to tell the Duna got it was. face and crazed unblinking eyes it's all a joke there's nothing to guard only lies you'll see for yourself once you're dead yeah no point there's no point in me trying to do that i haven't got any anything that will give me the uh, the win Let's go up there. Can you go talk to talk with this guy? Tell you what you can do. Where's my son gone? None. I will yield 
to none. Turned out well. Uh, right, he's got his armor back. Let's do a rest. The knight's spirit is altogether more composed than his late corporeal form. His helmet rests in the crook of his arm, revealing an august dwarven face, creased with worry. A god woken. I thank you. Death was the only remedy for what was done to me. But these fiends resurrect those they have use of. Please, consume my spirit. I don't want to come back. I don't want to be their slave. So you need to access the Council of Seven as soon as possible. There's little I can do to help you. It's the altars that have that power. Bow to the altar. And to those of the others also. If you are worthy, they will show you the way. I... I was not worthy. I failed the gods twice over now. All I deserve is nothingness. From this way, he was God walking. One of the chosen few. He shouldn't doubt his self worth this way. I. I was not worthy. I betrayed my own nature. I made a pact with a demon. So I would triumph over all others in the council. But the gods saw through my rules. I was rejected. I begged them to let me serve here on the island to pay penance. They should have hey, Randall. How are you? I'm doing all right, thanks. How are you today? Still weak at heart. Uh, ask what happened to him. Black Ring came and sacked the temple. The one that leads them, the sallow man. He cursed me. A curse of madness and terrible visions. It's getting very hot here as well. <laughs> According to the news this morning, they say it might reach 40 degrees. It's going to be a record, apparently. The hottest day ever. For us. Yes, I'm not sure I'm going to be streaming this afternoon. It might get too hot in here. We shall see. It's not bad at the moment because it's only 7.36 a.m. so it's, uh, it's not too bad at the moment. That's what kind of visions. I will not say it. It would be blasphemy to even utter the words. The sallow man is a trickster, a deviant. They must have been lies that he concocted. They must be. Yeah, it's going to be 40 degrees Celsius here, <laughs> apparently this afternoon. The record up until then 
Um, the record at the moment is 38 degrees Celsius at the moment in the uh, in the UK. But they're saying it could reach 41 today and 41 tomorrow in Manchester. Yes, in Manchester. <laughs> yes, they, they put a, a red warning out. It's the first time ever, a red warning. It says there's going to be disruptions to travel. Wait and see though. I, I can't see it, but wait and see. I'll let you know tomorrow if it actually reaches that. See, you don't want to, don't want to consume your sauce. Wow, okay. Well, that's, that's not good. I failed my duty and let myself be corrupted. Now I'm just a potential weapon to be used against you. Grant me oblivion, I beg you. Okay. The spirit offers a stoic nod, accepting his fate. Thank you. Look to the altars for guidance. Well, I've just going off the news this morning. They said uh, the 40 degrees it was going to get to. Which 100? 100 degrees Fahrenheit? Is that right? Uh, did he not leave a body for me to loot? Yes, he did. Carved onto the face of the altar is a dedication. In honour of Duna, patron of the dwarves, long may their mountain halls stand as a testament to him. All right, raise your hand on the altar and pray. Hard stone melts into cool water at sun. Before you stretches a lake, or rather a mire. The yeah, we we use Celsius now. We used to use Fahrenheit years ago, but we use Celsius now. Through the dense fog, you hear a voice. Duna, god of dwarves, gasps. Please, cleanse this place. Let me breathe. Uh, so I'm going to say. There we go. UK issues, issues first ever red warning for extreme heat. Uh, Tuesday, 39 degrees. Monday, 37, Tuesday, 39. But on the news this morning, they said it was 40. It might get to 40, so we'll see. 38 is the record. Uh, cast bless on the lake. The miasma clears as the power of your blessing skips across the surface. You look down to see your face gazing back at you, reflected in now crystalline water. High above your reflection, the full moon stands vigil. You step back from the altar, the vision fading before you. As you leave, you notice a lunar rune has appeared, carved into the rock. 
Okay, that's good. Uh, Duna feels the pull of the moon. Okie dokie. What have we got here? Anything? Ventoski. Hang on a minute. For the UK? Trying to get to Manchester. <laughs> Nearly there, I'm at, I'm at crew. Yeah, this is at 8, 8 a.m. Uh, why has it got a Fahrenheit on it? I don't know, isn't it? Altrigham, that's, that's near enough. That's near enough it. There we go. It's showing at. It's showing it in Fahrenheit for some reason. Um, three o'clock in the afternoon, ninety-five degrees Fahrenheit. Why is it showing it in Fahrenheit? Ultra, Ultra Ingham is just down the road, so it's, it's near enough. It's in the Manchester area. Um, this morning at 60, 63, and then at 3 o'clock this afternoon, it's showing at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which must be about, what, 38, 37, 38 degrees Celsius? Can we change that to Celsius? And there's the one I was using. Uh, yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to put it simply, yes, very hot. Right, what else have we got? Anything? Oh yeah. You know, having my hair cut today, which is a good thing, it's getting very long. Good. It's very nice of you, random. Did you enjoy them? What did you watch? Let's get through these. Oh no, no, I still have it, random. <laughs> I'll 
coming up to my uh, 10 year anniversary in September. It's still in my lung, lymph nodes and skull. Oh, it's not all right, don't worry, don't be sorry mate, it's alright. I'm an old hand now. Uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Especially the one in the, the one in the on the head is in the bone in the skull. I've got a, like a I had radiotherapy on it. I've got a, a crater in the skull here. That hurts sometimes. It burns sometimes. It stabs. It's like a stabby pain, and sometimes it burns. It's uh, very weird. But I've just been I've just been put onto. I've gone for three monthly scans to four monthly scans, so that's good. I'm on four monthly scans now. Yeah, it was uh, it's kidney cancer. Believe it or not, I had the, I had the kidney removed in uh, in 2012, and then I was I had yearly scans for five years, and then on the on the fifth year, it had come back again in the lymph nodes in the chest, so I had a major operation to remove those. Uh, then the year after that, that was in 2017. The new year after that, they, they found it in the uh, in the lung. It came back in the lymph nodes, and it appeared in the skull. So, joy of joys. <laughs> Well, I've managed to laugh my way through it, so I don't mind. I was only expecting to live for five years and I've gone ten, so it's all a bonus. Yes, maybe. Depends on the weather. If it gets re if, it's, if it's really hot this afternoon, then it will get like an oven in this room because, it, like I said, my PC pushes out some incredible heat. So uh, it's only a very small room. So if it's really hot this afternoon, I might get I might get an hour in or something like that. We'll see. Uh, right, I've killed that, so where is he again? Yeah, he's there. Yeah, even even on a cold day, once if I've been in this room for about an hour and a half to two hours, it gets hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You approach an undead, standing proud at the lip of a broken bridge. Understandably fearless of the fatal drop, she gazes into the lava sputtering below. Turning to you, she motions to the black ring corpses at her feet. Exactly the same random. Yes, mine's like a heater as well. Good riddance to bad rubbish, eh? Only thing I like less than black ring are trolls. God woken, are you? Uh, well, why were you talking to me like that? I've already talking to you once. Oh, we're talking to the wrong person. That's why. Um, I thought so. 
I see such things, for I am the watch. The mice. She We've already done all this. Why are you speaking to him? We failed. But well, okay. I see. She glowers at you. Right. You speak. You have succeeded where I could not. Please accept this with my thanks, and the thanks of all those I served alongside. The blessings of the original Seekers upon you. She hands you a small yet heavy trinket, crafted of tarnished metal. Though cold, it feels comforting to the touch, like a worry stone or a familiar childhood toy. A second. So we do this. And, um... <laughs> God, that's a long time ago. Moved house since then. A long time ago. Um, right, so let me. I'm looking for. A, I can actually show you. The. Uh, what happened to the one on my head? There you go. It's like a, a time lapse of what happened with the radio therapy. This is where I had to, the uh, radiotherapy caused my hair to fall out. If you see, there's the bump. There it is. That's the tumour that was in the bump. There he's starting to go after the radiotherapy. We left a left a crater in the in the skull. And there's where it grew back. And it grew back slightly darker on top. <laughs> Very weird. Yeah, it's just occasionally now. Like I say, just sometimes you get a, a, a stabbing pain in it, and sometimes like a burning sensation. But that's all. Oh.
Nah, it's not worth it, is it? It's not, not as good. What have we got here? Finesse. No. No. We'll take that. We're going to be selling it anyway. Right. What have we got to do now? Place of longing, what is that? It's not this way. Then. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, don't want to win lava. Who's that? Oh, the Lord. We stay behind. Where is he hitting me from? Good God, how's he managed to hit me from over there? <laughs> what? How far can you go? Can you go into there? No, I can't reach. Okay, enter.
Can you get up there? No, you can't. Damn it. supposed to get to him. Oh great, now he's in this. <laughs> Wonderful. Save your turns a minute, uh, you can do that. Right, you can use that, but we need to be able to see whoever it is. There's no way for you to get up, is there? Apart from that, no. Make more rain videos. <laughs> Yeah, I should have I should have plenty of chances with that in Manchester. <laughs> uh, right. Um, Are you ready? Let's do that. Let's do that. Ready. All oh, right. <laughs> Might as well save all your turns. Let's get over here with you. Under normal circumstances, it is quite wet in Manchester. Nullify. What's that do? Characters have been purged. Nice. Thank you. Marked. Oh joy. Thank you. Thank you for all those hurty things. Good how many turns have you got? Oh, I'm the bed. What? You bought cataclysm? What the hell's that? Well, that's something we're used to. We're used to it raining. Um, let's get you up there. Let that can't reach. Can't see it. No, I'll tag it too far. Let's try this over this way. Tag it too far. Okay. Let's do that then. There we go. End your turn. She can't reach. No. Uh, right.
didn't work great. <laughs> Oh, come on. Missed. Don't think you've got a trouble thing, have you? No. Stay there then. Can you reach with anything? Just not quite. He's going to die up here on his own. Turns three. All right, we need to get you another movement skill. Just got a better range on that. No, how frustrating. Still got 347 left. Ah, we hit. Oh, this camera's a bit awkward here. I come up there. How frustrating. No, I'm going to have to leave it to uh, Ifan. Oh dear. Rainfire! Oh, okay, we just need to find another way around this. <laughs> Look at that! Hmm. Is there another way around this? Ah, aha, aha. There we go.
At least I saved it. Well, bugger me, <laughs> we haven't saved it, right, okay, <laughs> right, what we'll do is, we're coming up to the hour and a half anyway, so I'm going to call it there, I'll do this fight again, and then tomorrow morning I'll come back and we'll be at that fight again, the right way, all right. Right, so I'm going to get going now. Uh, so thanks for chatting random. It was nice to speak to you again, mate. I shall see you all soon. This is all great. Sign off.